Mark, tell us about the costly TFSA blunder that Canadians keep making year after year. Yeah, it's a very costly blunder. 76,000 Canadians got letters last year. So in essence, you can take out any money you want from your TFSA during a year. However, you cannot contribute that money back until the first day of the next year. Now, why is it that people can't seem to get this message? Is it, is it the fault? Uh, fault? Is, are the banks primarily responsible here, or is, do you think there should be, the onus should be on the people? What's the disconnect? Well, I, I think it's the fault of both the CRA and the financial institutions. The TFSAs have been sold as savings accounts. So if you or I go to our bank, we put money in our, TF, in our, in our bank savings account, we take it out, and we never have any concern that there's any rule saying, well, you can't put money back in or you can't take money out. So it, it's just counterintuitive. All right, Mark, I want you to give people a rule for TFSAs that they can follow to avoid this. So the first, I, I give two rules, sorry. The first one would be just confirm with CRA what your TFSA contribution limit is. And secondly, if you take money out of your TFSA, be aware you cannot contribute it back until the first day of the next year unless you haven't made a full contribution in a prior year. And in that case, you may have some contribution room. All right, Mark, now I know you have some ideas on how the banks could help this situation. What are they? So I think if the banks would just tell their advisors, one, to ask, confirm, before someone makes a TFSA contribution, just confirm what your balance is with the CRA. And number two, ask the client if they've made a uh, withdrawal during the year. And if they have, just explain the rules we just discussed. Okay, one final quick question. How big are the penalties if you don't follow the rules? It's a 1% a month until you withdraw the money or you hit your new limit for the new year on January 1st. All right, so it could be significant then. Yes. All right, thanks, Mark. Okay.